liquors. Man, it don't matter how small the town is, you got a liquor store, don't you? <laughs> Gotta have a liquor store. <laughs> That's an untapped market if your town don't have a liquor store, man. You need to get on that, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm in a good mood today, guys. I'm in one of those moods for my videos. I really am. Because <clears throat> I know I'm almost there, and I know my day's almost over, and I know I'm going to make it, but I'm late, boys. I was supposed to be there 10 minutes ago, and I'm 30 minutes away, so I'm going to be about 40 minutes late. Turn left at the stop sign. Mm -hmm. This is really cute little town, though. What, where, where am I? What is this? I don't even know. Let's see, we're gonna take this 101 North right here. It really small, it just seems like a little farming town. It's all surrounded by farms. There's windmills up there. This is a always stop, so I'm gonna go on ahead and go. Stop back a little bit, cars. Stop back just a little bit. Just give me just a little bit. Just give me just a just a tiny bit, lady. Four miles, keep left to Indiana 101. I didn't even need a little bit, but I, I just thought maybe I would, and she she did not care. She was like, nope, I'm going all the way up to the line, because that looks too Great Danes right there. Big old, pretty Great Danes. I think those were Great Danes, weren't they? Oh, this place is Woodburn. Woodburn, Indiana is what we're in. <laughs> I always wonder when I go through little bitty towns like this, like, you know, if like any of my subscribers that watch this, hey, there's a Loves here, bro. Hey, it's only 28 minutes away. I could come here after my delivery. Loves in Woodburn. And then I can walk down there to the, uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the gas station. Yeah, the gas station over there. That's what I'm talking about. You know, to get some snacks. <laughs> oh, man. It looks new. They must have just put that out here. Good old Loves and Woodburn. That's probably where I'm going to go, honestly, because I don't know if there's going to be anywhere to park down the road. And by the time I get there, I'm only going to have a, almost the exact amount of time to get to the Loves. But I won't be under a load, so if I need to, you know, PC a little further, I'm just, you know, my own time. <clears throat> That's what I'm probably going to have to do. Probably have to PC there, honestly, because I just, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to have a few minutes short of being able to make it back to that loves but oh dang <laughs> 45 here there we go We're good well one of the only negatives boys about being at the farmland is you might get uh stuck behind the man on the big green tractor <laughs> god dang it uh, i hope this estes sees me the Estes box truck coming up real fast right now. I can't pass right now, dude. I can't see over that flipping hill. I can't see a thing over that dang hill. <clears throat> he might be turning right here, though. He might be. I don't know. But I just can't see. Well, I have to wait. Maybe he's taking a right right here. Maybe he's taking a right. He sure is. Smile and wave and tip your hat to the man on the tractor. <laughs> Big old John Deere. All right, now we can go. <laughs> I was like, man, I hope this ain't gonna be a long trip. <laughs> That's the only little slowdown I've had at all today, man. It's been pretty smooth, honestly. I made really good time today. I can't complain too much, man. There's a truck coming up behind me fast. I'm trying to speed up. I want to go faster than this, but I'm going uphill, and I just got slowed down by the tractor, so. All right. We are 14 minutes away, boys. We're almost there making such good time today let's go we still late for our load though i bet i hope they don't tell me some crap like you're late you know i'll be like i'm not late i ran my whole clock out to get here i did as much as i could <laughs> online transport's late <laughs> y'all getting a nice little driving vlog today man that's what y'all are getting we're riding with dave driving down the highway back roads vlog most of it's gonna be i mean we're going back when we get here i guess and uh yeah but this is pretty much it man just us hanging out on 
Highway 1 in Indiana. Yeah, a little pond they got. They got some geese in their little pond too, man. That's nice. I like that. This is sweet. I miss having a motorcycle, man. I need to give me another one. Oh, my thing just beeped and said, you must take off in 30 minutes. Because, yeah, I got 29 minutes. Miles. Turn right on East Main Street. All right, guys. We got to take a right on East Main Street in one mile. 45 right here, dude. Begin 45 zone. Slow down, Dave. Right there. It goes into effect when you reach the sign. Same thing when a speed limit goes up. You could be ticketed if you speed up before you get to the sign. I'm just saying, just letting some of y'all know. Some of y'all might not know that. 35 now, dang. All right, right on Main Street, boys. It's coming up. Um, <laughs> I wonder what this is going to look like. I'm pretty sure that I've taken a lot of rights on Main Streets. They were a pain in the ass before. <laughs> it's always in the downtown area although this town looks pretty chill but I think it's at this light yeah, it is it's at this light how much room do we have is what we got to look at here because I don't know 25 through here a little bitty old town too all right let me take this right right Turn right here. at the traffic light Road close on or after 4.17.23. Oh, yeah, it's a little tight. It is a little tight, man. We're going to wait until we get a green light. I mean, I could go now, but I can't see. I can't see anything. Let's scoot up a little bit, see if we can't see something. Oh, it's turning yellow now, so... There we go, we got a green. Okay, he's going right, he's going that way. We gotta take this right. And luckily nobody is here, so I can take all the room in the world. Nice, easy boys, easy. One mile, turn left on County Road 71. That truck's still, that truck's been behind me a long time. He's been on my butt too. And trust me, I've been going. I don't know if this is two lanes or one. I really don't know. I'm just going to hug this left line here. We're only 35 through here. Zero point eight. We turn on this county road 71 and we're pretty much there, boys. We're almost there. Like literally we're right down the road. All right. My Jeep, my Google Maps wants me to In three quarters of a mile, take a left, left there. County Road 71. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's why you don't follow Google Maps right there, boys. That's exactly why you don't follow Google Maps. <laughs> yeah, speaking of people saying stuff, somebody's like, yeah, no wonder you get lost all the time. You're always following Google Maps. But then, then they made light and said, I do too, so that's why I get lost all the time. But no, I don't ever really follow Google Maps. I might follow it for like in interchanges and stuff when you're on the interstate and you got to make interchanges. That's fine. But when you're down up in somewhere, you do not want to follow Google Maps. Look, it's got me going all over the flipping place, man. It don't know what it wants me to do right now. And it doesn't take into account that you're a truck. Left on County Road 71. <clears throat> All right, we got 55 here, and we're going to take this left, and this should take us right up to the place. All right, let's see. Is anybody coming? That is a hill right there, dude. All right. Uh, he's coming, too. Okay, he's just going. half mile. Arrive at 2626 County Road 71. On the left. He just gonna follow me all the way down. He gonna check in before me and get unloaded. That's gonna piss me off. I'm here first. <laughs> all right, guys. God, this is a little old road, bro. <laughs> My GPS is like truck question mark. Can you be here? I don't know. I don't like that there's a dang truck right on my butt for the last flipping 25 miles <laughs> going to the same place as me i can't i want to take my time and look it's where these trailers are right up here boys i'm watching the satellite i should be able to take a left right here and get in this place so yeah in Not... 500 feet arrive at 2626 county road 71 on the left Ooh. wait i gotta be over there <laughs> this says tri wall how do I get? Can I, I can't go through. Okay, okay. Tr 
trucks. It says left trucks. Enter only trucks to the left. Okay. Yeah, it just takes me over. It says right there uh, shipping and receiving. It's like two businesses in one. So that says shipping and receiving. Oh, he's a day cap too. So he's definitely done this before. He's just been on my bum all day. <laughs> Is there any other online over here? I'm not going any faster than this, Mr. Day Cow. It's bumping. Okay. What is that? Metal in the the ground nope there ain't no online here this place is huge those back ends gonna be a breeze man it ain't no thing but a chicken wing let's go oh god dang man this is bumping your nail oh this day cab is probably tired of me he's like hey, man, road driver this otr driver you don't know what the hell they're doing he's just gonna gripe the whole time probably probably not but he might be i don't know i'm gonna come freaking pull through over here dude i'll be out the way just park myself right over here bro ham where's he at is he following me still leave me alone leave me alone day cab <clears throat> i'm not dropping by the way i'm a live unload but <clears throat> i'm just parking here because i don't know where to park there we go that was beautiful actually that was really nice where's he going oh that's where the shipping all yeah well he's scooting over he gonna get in there before i am shoot all right guys we're gonna go on duty here get off our drive clock we're gonna go unload i don't know we'll do waiting i have like a list here you know what i mean i can like choose a come on waiting yeah that's what we're doing waiting he don't win up look he checks in over there you gonna go get in before me even though i got here first that's upsetting Look, he's about to hop out right now and go run in that shipping office, man. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. I'm sure we're going to back into one of these doors. It's so easy. Maybe I'll back in over there. You got to... Jesus, I wish every place was like this. He sure did back in before me, boys. You know, it's a... I, I'm just joking. I'm not complaining. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out here. If you ain't the first to the shipping office, you're last, okay? <laughs> he's day cab anyways. They get priority half the places that they go over us anyways, so... You know that's just the way she goes sometimes but we're carrying he's probably carrying the same thing i am probably paper rolls maybe um which is usually a pretty quick unload i don't feel like i'm gonna be here for a long time he said 15 or 16 which are over there so um they're not next to him and it's on the end there and that is where i back in at he said and to slide my tandems to the rear and uh yeah that'll be that won't be too bad man it's gonna be a tight back boys oh see oh he's pulling out oh i thought he was done <laughs> oh he's dropping it <laughs> i did not know he was about to pull out from that oh wait is he going to back into all right, he's picking up a trailer over there. That's cool. I don't think he was looking at me. I don't think he was looking at me, but I was looking at him. I was like, shoo. All right, he said 15 or 16, doesn't matter. We of course gotta open the doors, slide the tandem. So we're just gonna pull up and then do that. Um, should be about right here. Let's see where we're at. Oh, let's pull the trailer a little more. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh baby, that was pretty. <laughs> so easy, boy. <laughs> I like being over eccentric about my easy backs. Like it was the most amazing thing ever. You know why I like doing that? Cause it pisses some people off. <laughs> oh, I gotta pull my trailer brake. Especially people that have never seen my channel before and don't know how I am and then they come and they like man that guy over there could have did this I'm awesome and then they come on they get so mad dude they they come on and they're like this guy what a steering wheel holder he thinks he did the hardest back in the world he is a straight back <laughs> tandems are in the button air release boys it's funny man it's funny to read those comments man 
And I know, I like, this gotta be a guy that's like, first clicked on my video, has no clue how I am. <laughs> He's like, that's the easiest back ever, I just did that with my eyes closed. <laughs> God dang, it's windy. There we go, there's some rolls. There's some rolls, boys. This was a preloaded trailer and sealed, as y'all can see, because somebody else was like, I like how you didn't strap that. That's going to be bad when one of those goes over. I, ain't my fault. I didn't do it. I picked it up from a paper mill that had it loaded and sealed. <laughs> Wasn't me, man. It ain't that I didn't strap it. All right, here we go. Now we just got to slide them tandems. I think he just went to go look for a trailer and it ain't here because he just like took off looking at the whole line of trailers and he just went back to the shipping office. That's what you get for skipping. It's a drop and hook anyways, man. He don't affect me. I don't know, maybe they will. They will unload that trailer first. Who knows? All right, guys, let's put her in drive and let's uh, slide these tandems forward, shall we? There we go, she's sliding nice and easy. This is a good trailer, I like this trailer. There we go, they're all the way in now. Now once I push this button in, they'll automatically lock back in. I don't even gotta walk back there again. All right, now let's get back into this door. Oh man, y'all see this back, dude? Wow, bro, I'm, a, I'm so good. I bet that day cab driver over there is looking at me like, dang, dude. How long has he been driving? He's got it going on. <laughs> now I'm just being over, overly unbelievable now at least. All right, the back end of this dough right here. Uh, is this an on the line place? No, yeah, it kinda is on the lines. Yep, 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 pretty much is on the lines. Right on them pretty much. Get this thing straightened out get back under it now and what's that right line look like yeah you right on I mean you right on the dang lines man <laughs> all right back back into it and pull them I think that's all he said to do. He just said, there's no wheel chalks. He just said, slide your tandems, open your doors, back in, don't move, stay in your truck, and that's that. So I don't have a red light or a green light yet, but yeah, boys, they took us, they didn't gripe about it being like 30 minutes late or anything, they didn't say anything. He didn't even like look at my paperwork. He just like, I tried to hand him the paperwork and dude was like, roll stock, and I'm like, yep. And he's like, okay, back into 15 or 16 and they'll get your paperwork when they're done. So, they didn't say nothing, so I guess I'm good. I got 17 minutes. Now I gotta look up where the nearest truck stop is so we can end this day. All right, guys, so after about 15 minutes, they haven't started unloading yet, but I mean, it's not uncommon. Uh, I wanted to tell y'all though, right down the road, literally, is Butler One Stop in Butler, Indiana, and it is a small truck stop here. Uh, enough space for, I don't know, maybe 10 to 12 trucks back there in the back of the lot. This is a daytime shot, and there's quite a few trucks there, so it kind of worries me it might be full. However, it's 1.8 miles away. I can make that without... <laughs> my ring thing's going off. Um, I can make that without PCing or going over my clock or anything. It's literally right down the road here in Butler. There's a CVS next to door to it there's a supermarket next to it oh there's even a dollar general dude there's like everything you need is a truck driver right here <laughs> that's pretty cool and a fireworks store i can shoot me off some fireworks but anyways i think that's where i'm gonna go because there's food there there's parking i'd be good so i'm gonna try to go there boys all right guys we are unloaded um they actually had to stand inside of the place um I had to stand inside a little caged area with a couple chairs where a driver can sit. Um, they don't allow you in the truck. I, I thought they did because the dude told me at the shipping office, stay in your truck. 
and I understand now he meant stay in your truck until they come get your paperwork because he took the guy the, the unloader took my paperwork and then uh, told me to come inside so that's just how they do things here safety measure and all that driver can't be in the truck truck can't drive away right they also took the red airline off put a lock on it like the whole nine yards so it's quite a few things uh they do for security purposes here but nice quick easy unload everybody was nice i like it i like this place never had any issues at these uh this is international paper is what this one is and i like i like their warehouses and stuff man they're pretty good so all right, so I got us plugged in to uh, the Butler One Stop. How much time we got? We got 21 minutes. We just hit the drive line too. But I mean, we're driving, so that's why we hit the drive line, guys. All right, I guess we leave the same way we came in, right guys? I guess, am I doing the right thing here? I got my CB on, does the yard dog have a CB? <laughs> You can tell me on 19 don't do that yeah okay the signs are facing this way so wait no trucks beyond this point is that to the right <laughs> uh i'm pretty sure that just means to the right i mean who would turn in there who would even attempt to turn in there are any of those poles halfway knocked over no <laughs> i was about to say dude you know somebody done turned up in there one day that's crazy if they did Maybe at nighttime I could kind of see if you just turned it. I mean, you still, you just gotta look, man. <laughs> All right, don't drive distracted. I did notice they had a sign in there that said, no use of cell phones while walking or driving on property. So yeah, it looks like we did do the right thing here is not take out any of their signs. Okay, is there any trucks or anything coming? I don't One see any. Mile. Turn right on US 6. Gotta take a ride out of here for sure. Yeah, there's no trucks that way. There's a sign that says no trucks. That goes down into like neighborhoods and stuff. And I'm sure some people have taken lefts out of here and like, oh, we'll go left. And then one half mile, turn right on US 6. The town had to put up signs. No trucks going that way. Ain't no dang trains coming. No trains coming. Let's get over this track, Dave. All right, boys, we got four minutes. I got 19 minutes on my drive clock. I got 48 minutes on my 14. I almost ran out of 14 too, man. I got no time left, but I'm legal right now. I'm going straight to the Butler one stop. I hope there's parking. That dude told me, he said they wouldn't mind if I stayed overnight. Yeah, a little, little tractor, man. <laughs> and he waved too. That's just how it is out places like this, man. I, love, I wave at everybody. You Nobody thinks twice if you just give somebody a wave when you're out in the country. You start waving at people in a city, they're going to look at you like, what is wrong with this guy? Why did he just wave at me? <laughs> it's just different out here, man. Watch. I'll wave at this guy right here on this tractor. I guarantee he waves back at me. He'll wave. That's just what we do. He'll probably wave at me first. Hell. Let me wave at him. Yeah, that gave me a wave. Nobody thinks nothing about it when you're out in the country, man. <laughs> Turn right on US-6. All right, is this truck here taking a left here? If so, I need to give him some room. Nope, he's going. It's a white Volvo. I'm drivers that drive the white Volvos. They're terrible, man. That's the worst, that's the worst kind of people out here, some white Volvo drivers. They don't, know, don't none of them know how to drive, man. Let me tell you something. All right. All right, no trucks are turning in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm trying to swing this a little wide. Hopefully nobody's coming in here. Nope, nobody's coming right. Nobody's coming left. Dave gonna go. All right, let's see. take this nice and wide. Make sure we clear everything. We did, nice and perfect, all right? Hug the line the whole time. 537 West Main Street on the right. Yeah, boys, I'm actually kind of excited about this place. I might go run over to the Dollar General within walking distance, go grab me something over there. Uh, I ate Subway yesterday, so I might just give me some McDonald's. I don't know if the truck stop itself has any food in there. We'll see, because I really don't want McDonald's, but if it's between that and Subway, I don't want to eat Subway again. So I'll probably get McDonald's, if that's my only other option. Probably going to walk over to the Dollar General. Um, they don't have showers here, but that's fine. I, don't, I took a shower uh, last night, so... I'm good for today. I won't get one today, but then when I start off tomorrow, you know what I mean? I can 
stop by a pilot when I fuel because I'm going to need fuel at some point. Stop by a pilot, get some fuel, run in, take a shower, you know, get some food, whatever, on my 30 minute break, and we'll be all good, man. Yeah, we're going right through here. This is the town of Butler, Indiana. School zone 25 here. What does this say? When children are present. Well, I mean, I'm just going to go 25 then because I don't know. It just, yeah. Uh, I, some little kid will run out right after I pass and a cop comes up the road and be like, oh, got him. I'd be like, bro, that kid did just, he just ran out, bro. Like, like I, he wasn't even present before. Yeah, big old lot right here, dang. Oh, that's an actual warehouse and stuff. All right, guys, here we go. Uh, is it the marathon there? I'm trying to see where the truck, yeah, it is, it's the marathon back there. Dang, a truck just pulled back there to park. Man, I hope there's a spot. There might not be a freaking spot, dude. It looks full. Oh, no, boys. I don't think there's any spots. Arriving at 537 West Main Street on oh, the right. There's... No, there's a drop trailer in that spot. Oh, no. I don't have a parking spot, boys. I might have to go back to that international paper or PC somewhere because I, I can't park here. No parking right there. Oh, this bot, this friggin' he's leaving. Heck yes. Oh yeah, get out of here. Get out of here, flatbed. Get up out of here. We don't, we don't want your con here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. We taking that, boy. We are taking that. So what we're gonna do here, guys, is we're gonna take this left, hard left, watch these cars, follow this bobtail. And then we're gonna swing around to the right. Swing around to the right like this. Mm -hmm. Come over here. I can't really uh, get too close to these guys. We're gonna pull her this way, this way, this way. I'll come back right. I'll pull her, pull her, pull her. And ooh, we gotta go up. Another guy just left. Okay, that made it easy because I did not set up very good for that. I did not set up very good. It was an awkward uh, situation though because I didn't want to get too close to those guys working. I should have passed it up a little bit further, but like I said, I didn't want to get too close. So it was what it was. What you looking at, bro ham? I got it. I got he's still looking. He's still looking to see how I'm backing. <laughs> a lot of guys do that, man. They're like they're so dang curious if you got it or not. <laughs> Alright, that's some butt crack right there, man. <laughs> oh dang, is there a bee in my truck? Something's flying around in here. I don't know what it was. in here and yeah there's plenty of room for another truck to back next to me make sure we don't hit that concrete barrier back there but I want to get back as far as I can and there we go man this is all good old boys back here son <laughs> I feel out of place here my Volvo man <laughs> I feel I feel like when I get up out this truck they gonna get, they gonna mean mug me like who's this little guy right here huh I'll just open my mouth with the strong southern accent and they'll be like oh he cool <laughs> I'm from the south, bro. I, bro, I, I can I can extend that draw a little bit, boys. I, I, I can make that draw a little uh, stronger. I feel like these are guys like park here all the time on home time, everything else. Oh, I gotta go off duty, man. I'm done. I'm done. I ain't moving neither. I don't care what they say to me. I don't see no names on these parking uh, spots here, Graham. Oh, it's all the same company. Oh yeah, it's all JP Graham. So basically, it's like local company that uses all these spots <clears throat> there's a lot of smaller companies that like they kind of just park their trucks at you know local parking here 
and there's always like not a lot of spots to park at because uh you know they use them all <clears throat> sometimes they pay the gas station you know whatever for the parking spot and all that stuff but yeah it's like me and a bunch of jp graham here boys but anyways that's it for this video man i'm off duty i'm done i'm probably gonna run over to the mcdonald's and get me something to eat like i said there is a dollar general over there so that's really cool um and yeah i'm done for the day hope y'all enjoyed the video man catch y'all on the next one peace all right boys i was gonna end the video but i had to show y'all they had a full like hot food bar restaurant in there and i got a buffalo chicken and look at this thing man they got it toasted up for me it looks a little not to it's actually it's toasted but look at that thing man it was all made fresh it's like a breaded buffalo chicken i got some jalapenos mushrooms onions and um yeah some ranch on it it looks really good man and it is busy in there but this place is awesome they told me no charge for parking if y'all are ever up here in uh butler indiana no charge for parking full fresh hot food in there they make pizza they make po' boys they make salads almost everything you want really nice people too he said you could take 10 hours 20 hours 30 we don't care he's like but we got pizza if you want to buy some i'm like i'm gonna go get something so i got this man extremely happy with this stop so far the only thing is this lot is very small and as you can see a lot of local guys park here can't guarantee it'll always have parking probably not at you know 6 p.m but if you get here early maybe you can get in but anyways guys that's it now i'm done Let's take a spin to a foreign place These open highways are calling our name And now it's time for us to escape Escape to a world we don't know Escape into the great unknown Escape to a world we don't know Escape into the great unknown